Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be continuing on with our Series 8 content. A uh, big shout out before we get into the details of today's team because I did ask on Saturday's video um, about if you'd like to see Series 7 slash Series 9 or if you'd like to see out Series 8. The kind of consensus coming back was to see series eight out we've got a couple of weeks left so we may as well do it have a bit of fun while we're doing it i did mention this a while ago if you've got rental teams that you would like to see featured on the channel let me know down in the comment section below and i will try and feature them there was a bunch that i didn't get to feature in the last kind of segment that we did of rental teams so i would like to see if i could approach that again get those featured and uh, give Series A a good send off. So today we're going to be featuring a restroom team. It's from a Japanese player called Kuro. I will leave all of their socials down in the description and their blog post about this team in particular. But they finished 75th overall in the PC4 qualifier as well as the Japan National Championship qualifier as well. So really good rating uh, in the end. And a really interesting team. Some interesting picks. You've got the Landorus incarnate form. Uh, you've got the Malotic as well, which we very rarely see. Uh, Togekiss as well, kind of underplayed. Uh, but the Reshiram as well, uh, that's not commonly seen too much, but predominantly here for kind of the Sun matchup, you would imagine. Uh, Heatwave, Draco Meteor and Earth Power, lots of nice options there to hit opponents with and do some big damage. Looking forward to playing this team today. Hope you enjoy the episode. If you want to try the team out, and if you do, definitely let me know down in the comment section as always. Uh, we'll have a couple of games of the team now. We'll pilot it, show you how it plays, and then we'll feature the rental at the end of the episode. So without further ado, friends, let's get into this first one today. Also, friends, if you noticed in the intro that I have this huge bandage on my finger, it's because yesterday I had a bit of an accident when I was putting some fence posts in my garden and uh, there was a sledgehammer involved and it it involved jamming my finger in between that and a stake so yeah I, I probably really damaged my finger I'm kind of hoping it just gets better on its own but I'll probably have to go and maybe get it scanned later this week we'll see how it goes but if you were wondering why I've got them wrapped up like crazy that is why if you want to see a gruesome picture of the finger I'm sure I can work that out let me know I might drop it in the next one but I'm fine but um, yeah, it's it's pretty painful, but that is the reason why. Anyway, we've got a first opponent of the episode up. Uh, they are playing a team of Tornadus, Urshifu, Rotom Heat, Lapras, Landorus, Therian, and Zashian. So it's kind of your standard lapdog team with the uh, exclusion of having the Tornadus in there, which gives you like really good uh, speed control. Uh, especially with the Lapras that you would assume on this build is kind of probably going to be weakness policy. Maybe, maybe. But um, yeah, it's going to be difficult to kind of manage. Speed control isn't something that we've got like an abundance on this team. But, you know, it makes it very difficult to kind of utilize. Um, Rillaboom going to be important for us. And I think, I think Reshiram is quite important for us in this one as well, you know. Um yeah yeah let's go rush room let's go rush room let's go rush room let's go malu did we go melotic melotic i like melotic here i like rillaboom and i think we need landorus you know for the end game against zashin because of the scarf there and the lack of speed control that we've kind of got on the team you're relying mostly on this team with a lot of the prior priority that you got from like rillaboom from the urshifu you got the scarf and the landorus as well so that gives you a kind of good kind of speedy mode to the team with the priority you got the redirection which helps out a bunch and then you're kind of relying a bit more on, on something like a uh, restroom to function just because it's kind of like that anti-meta pick at the moment um so we do see zashin come out with tornadoes so there's likely going to be a tailwind here now we could initially just go for um like a Max Wormwind isn't the worst play because it weakens the Zashin, but at the same time, you've got to think. Is it worth getting rid of the Tornadus at this point? Probably not like now because we then give my opponent kind of like that free switch in when they get the Tailwind up, which is probably what they're going to go for. Um, although taking them down to the Sash isn't a bad idea and then we could potentially just go Muddy Water. And his Ashens are going to be hitting us hard. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's max with Reshiram. Okay. So. What's coming in? Okay. That works out even better that we're going for Muddy Water then. 
And we're going to see the Tornadus max. Okay, well. That, I didn't expect that. You know, on a Lapras team, especially with stuff like Rotom Heat, you kind of think, well, they're probably going to be the Pokemon that come. They're probably going to be the Pokemon that max. But not the case. We're going to see an Airstream, though. A B into Melotic, I would imagine. Maybe Reshiram. But they're not going to do too much damage to Reshiram. And it is going to be a problem for my Pokemon, my opponent to deal with, of course. Because, you know, you're looking at things like Rotom Heat. that aren't really going to be able to kind of damage uh, super well. Uh, like Reshiram. Um, so it's going to kind of be one of those Pokemon that you want to remove as soon as you can. But, yeah, the Melotic going to be the, the big target here. For the Tornadus. The Muddy Water is just a big damage that we want onto the, the Rotom here. And being life orbed as well, we should be able to... Well, it depends how much damage this does. I don't expect this to be getting close to a knockout, but you never... Well, uh, okay. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see what this Melotic can do. It can surprise us, I'm sure. But the lack of speed control from my opponent, wow. We actually nearly take down both Pokemon. I mean, that's that's pretty incredible. That is pretty incredible. The thing to watch out for here, I think, is... Um, like, I really want to go Max Wormen into the Rotom. But they could easily switch the Zashian back in here. Um... And I think... What are we better off doing? Are we better off preserving? I think maybe we go... Go into the Tornadus. Can we just go for another Wormwind? Hmm. Probably not. And I think maybe protect Melotic here. Because otherwise Melotic just goes down. Okay. If they nasty plot here, that's gonna get a little bit tough. But I don't know if they do. Oh, they're just gone all all round protects. Um, all right. Well, a round of protect. It kind of it works out all right because yeah, this this works out fine because we need to deny the tailwind from my opponent. That's the one thing that makes it difficult to utilize Landorus. And if we get a weather up here as well, it definitely helps us out. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just get rid of. I mean, they've got the room here where they can nasty plot for sure. They can go ice stream, melotic, nasty plot. Not really. Oh, huh. They go after restroom, getting damage there, which I guess makes sense. Oh, okay. Mm, okay, their life orb. I should have really picked up on that in the previous turn because we could have just worm ended. We could have worm winded. Because I don't know if the Max Flare is going to be enough to get the rot. I'm obviously resisted. Um, but it does set our it does set our sun up. Is actually enough. Okay, Reshiram's just that that good. <laughs> that good. Well, okay. So we got Landorus to come in, helps us out a bunch against the Zashin. Is sheer force the uh, Earth power going to be enough at this point? The thing is, we could bring in um, Rillaboom here, which definitely gives us a little bit more leeway. And means that we got a, a clearer target to kind of a, a win condition, where we've got... We don't need to concentrate too much down on the Zashu in this turn, because we've got the fake-out pressure. Um, and is Reshiram going to be able to take a wicked blow that's the big thing here because mm. our main goal now is get rid of the urshifu and then landris potentially just beats beats zash in and you would think if you're my opponent you probably want to protect zash in i mean the big thing that we got here is is heat wave so we don't really need to choose a target it's just who do we kind of fake out um I think, I think, I think we fake out. Like, I want to fake out Urshifu, but it's got the Sash, so it feels like I'm going to fake out Zashin because my opponent might call our bluff here. No, they do not. They do not call our bluff. They just double protect. Okay, well, that's fine. And we can't really protect in front of Urshifu, so we can potentially double into the Oshifu here with a grassy glide and a heat wave, but I don't suspect that we'll be able to get 
our attack off, unfortunately. You know? Yeah, I think we have to just Heat Wave and Grassy Glide. I mean, we could wood ha we could have wood hammered into Urshifu. We probably got room to uh, to wood hammer this turn because I think all the attention from my opponent is like so directed over to that rush room. It does give Rillaboom a little bit more room to kind of function here, and maybe a wood hammer plus grass glide would be the ticket to uh, to get rid of the Urshifu. But two grassy glides will be enough. We know that, you know. Ooh, we survive! Have they doubled up into us? Have they? And it's a crit as well. Reshiram's a beast. Reshiram is actually a beast. They have doubled up, so that's that's fair play to my opponent. That Urshifu will go down next turn, and an Earth Power, like I say, should be enough to get the Zash in. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's the, the whole plan of this team, you know? But I think even if not, I think Earth Power and then... Uh, grassy glide will be enough so i think we're going to be all right regardless so it's like having that 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 plan for the end game with the landerus always helps out and i do really like it as a kind of a tech a tool sheer force is just ridiculous ability coming off you know same type of attack bonus earth power of a decent attack stat anyway so seeing the earth the the Urshifu, i think the the zashian is going to try and go after Rillaboom here potentially But not going to have the chance. Not going to have the chance. Because that is just a ridiculously strong move. <laughs> yeah, and now and now Grassy Glide. Mm, it, it probably picks up the knockout. But the game's kind of over now. Because there's no way Urshifu deals with both of these by itself. So, yeah. It's, it's a really... Like, I really love this team build. Like, the build of this entire team. I think it's really unique. And it's not something that you kind of, like, see that often because it's not packed out with speed control it's not packed out with like support tools and things like that it's got very kind of direct ways to dealing with pokemon and kind of like i don't know getting a good return on whatever you lose you know in situations so very good game to my opponent and we'll jump into our next match of today okay up next we've got a whimsicott a shadow rider calyrex a Cinderace, a Regieleki, a Tapu Lele, and a Landorus Therian form. A really nice looking team. I love this concept. I love the Cinderace in there to protect the uh, the Shadow Rider Calyrex. It's got Sucker Punch. It's got a lot of utility. It's a very fast Pokemon in general. You've got the Regieleki, which helps out a bunch. The Whimsicott, obviously there for the speed control with Tailwind, Taunt, Helping Hand. The list goes on. Tapu Lele in these kind of builds is generally Specs. So we've got to be very careful around that because it can hit like an absolute truck. Then you've got the Intimidate support from the Landorus as well, which is normally uh, Solfest. Right, how are we going to approach this one? Because this is this is obviously very difficult. We do have Urshifu. And I think Urshifu is a nice Pokemon, but I don't think it's the one that we bring. I mean, you can lead it, but... Um... There's so many things that are faster than us that make it very difficult to utilize, you know? Um, I think let's go Melotic. Let's go Melotic and... Mm, no, let's go Melotic and... Yeah, let's go Melotic, Urshifu, Reshiram and I think Boom Boom. Big old Boom Boom to round off the team. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. <sighs> All right. Well, you know, like in the start of the episode, I said Series 8, we've only got a couple of weeks left. It'd be interesting to see if, if you all would like me to, to go through the restricteds that I haven't featured yet. You know, there's there's ones like Rayquaza, there's Dawn, uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma. There's a bunch of them that I haven't featured on the channel. So if you'd like to see me feature those going forward uh, for the remainder of Series 8, let me know. It could be quite a lot of fun. Right. Wimmy and Cinderace. Um, hmm, hmm. Like the the main reason I wanted to leave Melotic was we kind of were able to get our, our light screen up. Um, and my, my opponent's big thing here is they're gonna go hard after the Urshifu with um the Wimmy and the Cinderace. And we don't necessarily have the best switch in. Um. 
I don't really want to bring Rush Room in it's so early. I mean, the other thing is, you know, we could just go Max, Max Geyser into Cinderace and go Sucker Punch. Because they potentially are going to go, they're potentially going to go Tailwind here. And they're not going to expect the Melotic to max. And I, I think the Melotic gets a, a completely free turn here. There's no way they concentrate down on the Melotic uh, at this point. You know? They have to go hard. They have to go harm into the Urshifu here. Because they know the Sash is there. They need to remove it so the, the uh, Calyrex has a way easier time at the end of the, end of the game. The problem would be, obviously, here is fly. But are we going to see a fly? Maybe not. If we do a bounce, I mean, high jump kick. Does it miss? Does it miss? Because it's the dodgiest move ever. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> the curse of the commentator. Here we go once again. I feel bad for the Cinderace. I love Cinderace so much. <laughs> but you love to see it happen. You love to see it happen. It's so evil. So evil. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Let's step back a minute because I know how annoyed. You know why I laugh so much is because I know how annoyed I get in those situations when it's me. And it gives me that like, you know, I'm totally relating to that player, but also kind of finding the funny side of it where I'm like, I am so, like so annoyed, so annoyed. Like it's kind of funny. I don't know if you get that. Yeah, I do feel. Yeah, you got to feel for your opponent when these sort of things happen. Um. I mean, the Lele is in, a, in an awful spot, isn't it? Um, because we're just going to switch in. Boom. Get rid of the terrain. Get rid of the Lele. Um, um, yeah, because like a Life Orb, guys, there's, there's no way it's not picking up the knockout on Lele. Unless it, Lele maxes. But I think at this point, you probably wait and max the uh, the Calyrex when it hits the field. So... There's a big help in that. I mean, it is specs, so you've got to... The, the expanded force is going to come out, isn't it? Oh, it's Psyshock. Still, there's a fat chunk of damage, doesn't it? Not quite enough. I'm pleased we get to max Melotic in this one, you know? I do I do love Melotic. It is, it's, a, it's a very cool Pokemon. It's a very cool Pokemon. It's very underused. Um, and Life Orb, you know, I've got a, a real affinity to the Life Orb variant. Uh, the first uh, regional... Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Was Bo Bochum? Somewhere in Germany. Uh, of Sword and Shield that I went to. I managed to get out to it. And I I played Life of Melotic and it was so good. It was so good that tournament. Um, barely missed. Cup X2. X2 finish and just was just, just missed. Um, I mean what we'll do is we'll go Hailstorm. And we'll go for a fake out. Yeah, I mean, we may as well stop the Wimmy here if we can. The Calyrex is going to max. You know it's coming. But against a good old Urshifu, I don't think you're going to be able to beat it because we've got the Sash there. Uh, so we've got, like, all the security in the world we need because one Wicked Blow is going to be enough. And if you get the, the Hailstorm up, it just means that, you know, we've broke a potential Sash on the, on the horse because we haven't really seen it anywhere else yet. So, helping hand... Boom, boom, boom. It's fine. Uh, we're not going to be able to stop the Wimmy this turn, but we do do a nice chunk of damage to it and the Max Mindstone coming out. No, this is not what we want to see. No! No! Okay. That, yeah, that's not, not ideal. Because now the Urshifu is in a terrible spot where we can't get our terrain up, I don't think. Um, hmm. Well, can we? we still got three Pokemon, right? So we can, we can switch around, switch around doing stuff. Uh, there's a Grimnir coming out. Yeah, that makes things difficult. Yeah, we still got three Pokemon. So we use... Yeah, we, we need to keep... Mm. The problem is, like... Getting Oshifu in... Yeah, I'm going to bring Reshiram in. And I'm going to switch Rillaboom out. And I'm going to bring... Urshi in for Rilla. Hope that Reshiram gets knocked out. And then we got Rillaboom, Urshifu, with our terrain up to kind of close the game out. That's what we want. But it's quite it's quite predictable because I think my opponent can kind of kind of see into that, you know. We'll go for a heat wave in the rain, not the most ideal scenario. 
the worst sit the worst possible outcome here is if they go uh the double up into this Urshifu here with like a moon blast max phantasm yeah and it's happening isn't it it's happening like a dazzling gleam that would be that would be so bad that would be so bad there's the crit <sighs> it's almost like do you leave rillaboom out on the field at this point you know yeah uh that's terrible that is actually the worst i mean we're gonna get the heat wave and remove um yeah the, the yeah okay well yeah i don't really think um mm. okay well they have to go for max mindstorm here and i think they go into the rillaboom So do we Grassy Glide and just Draco Meteor? Because I think that combination probably will be enough to... Maybe enough to get it. Maybe. I don't think it will be. I don't think it will be. Grassy Glide. <sighs> you see, if we've still got the Grassy Terrain up this next turn, then we're in, in the money. But I don't think we're going to be able to. It's all about this uh, Draco Meteor, isn't it? From what I felt was like a super good place, we're in a super bad place. And this is the danger of this team, you know, that's like Shadow Rider Calvax, come on. Reshiram, let's just nuke it with a Draco Meteor. Let's, let's prove that you are the... I think we're going to get it, you know. I think we get it. Yes, come on, Reshiram. That is a way to end this match. 100%. <laughs> overexcited, overexcited. But very nice way to end against a very scary team indeed so uh yeah good game to my opponent so for our third and final opponent of the episode this could not be more fitting really we've got a very similar team we've got nearly a mirror match here with a rillaboom incineroar whimsicott togekiss reshiram and glastria so i'm thinking like our best kind of lead may be like reshiram and togekiss uh, they've got speed control, which gives us like it puts us at a massive disadvantage for sure. But it's not like we can lead something like like Rillaboom into Reshiram, um, you know. I think the redirection definitely helps us out a bunch. Um, do we want to run Rillaboom? Like Rillaboom's always good, I think, just for the fake out uh, and the the grassy glide pressure that it can kind of put on. It's kind of what it comes down to as our last Pokemon that we kind of utilize is going to be something like Urshifu, something like Landorus. It feels like it could be uh, very good in, a, in an endgame situation, particularly if the speed control has kind of been lost from my opponent. So I preferably go with Landorus. It feels like it's going to be a difficult match for sure. Um, but I always feel like that with this team. Like we've covered like the, the way that the team doesn't really have too much in, in regard to speed control. Um... And I feel like when you come up against teams with like heavy speed control or like that immediate speed control, like with Whimsicott or Tornadus or something like that, it feels like you're at a complete disadvantage straight away. Um, but we're going to see the same lead from my opponent is what we're going with. They got a nice shiny Reshiram. I don't know if I like. I think I'd prefer regular Reshiram to the shiny one. The gold bands are kind of cool, but just the all white. The all white is just just nicer, isn't it? Um, right. Well. <sighs> We do. We can't really go for follow me. I mean, we can. We could help in hand. Hmm. Do we just follow me and just try and blow up the uh, the opposing the opposing um, Togekiss? Because they could go help in hand, but there's the all. I think there's the, the the chance that they set the sun for us, which could kind of come back to bite them. But whether they do that or not, because I think their best option is going to be max flaring into our Togekiss, trying to get some damage onto it to remove it from the field. But uh, I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna go for that. It looks like they're faster than us as well, so potentially they do. And then I might give us a like, like if we can remove the Togekiss, it definitely gives us a bit of room. 
The problem would be the next turn if they bring in like Incineroar and then you got the fake out to to get to get around our uh, our follow me. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Like the best case scenario for us is they go Max Flare into our Togekiss. They redirect, we go Max Flare into their Togekiss, but we got the Sun kind of boosting us. Ally switch coming out. They got the exact same Togekiss kind of shenanigans going on. That's not ideal. Maxi Flare. Yeah, well, they're going to set the sun up for us, but I mean, wow. Wow. That does just ridiculous amounts of damage. They're not able to remove us, so we do get a little bit of a. Um, we do get a little bit of room to kind of function. Let's see what this does. Nada, like literally zip. It does nothing. Um, it's probably worth. Can we make a call? Can we make a call? Because I think they've got to go Max Flare again. They've got to go Max Flare again. They don't know we've got Ally Switch either. And I don't know if they got Ally Switch here. Did they go Ally Switch again? Because I'm kind of tempted to Ally Switch. Let's play them at their own game. And then go max Wormwind. But there's always the, the fear that they're going to just redirect and things go pear-shaped for us. Um, whereas if we get rid of the token... No, I'm going to go for it, you know? I'm going to go for this and, and say they're not going to ally switch. I don't think they are. Oh, no, we ally switch. I was like, oh, no, we've done it. We've done it. It's went bad. Okay, they dazzle. They're faster than us. That's like the worst case scenario. The togs cast faster than ours. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, now we're done. We're done. Oh no, we survive. Okay. This is le legit a very good Reshiram. And now we're going to be able to remove their Reshiram, which makes things a heck of a lot easier. But we are in Dazzle and Gleam range because our toga case is... Oh no. No, 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 no. Not so good. Okay. Well, hmm. Landorus is like a savior. And where's Rock Slide when you need it? Um, okay. Well, we're going to be relying on Stone Edge. And I think we got to... Hmm. Did we actually just attack here? Because I think... Like, the Reshiram goes down to recoil damage, regardless. So, I think we just go Max Flare, and we double up with a Stone Edge into, yeah, Togekiss. Because then Rillaboom has a way easier time when it comes in. Yeah, so the Reshiram, Max Guarding. So, if we can catch this Togekiss with a Stone Edge, pick up the Knockout, that's huge. It's not enough. Nah, the Dazzle's going to get us. Hmm, Okay. But at the same time, it's kind of all right because Rillaboom's going to be able to come in. Grassy Glide's going to be able to, to get the Reshiram. Stone Edge gets the Togekiss. We're just kind of locked into Stone Edge for the rest of this game, which is not ideal. Uh, and Ally Switch is obviously an issue. But I mean, Ally Switch doesn't really help my opponent in this situation because they just Ally Switch and they don't do anything, you know? Like they're clicking the Ally Switch button, which is fine, but you're pulling your Reshiram into like a stone edge damage and your togekiss isn't doing any damage so yeah it's not it doesn't really work out too well um uh, for you i mean we could fake out here i don't think there's any need to i think we just grassy glide oh, this is so tough this is so tough it's so tough and you know it's it's harder when you don't. I'm not making excuses for myself, but it is all it is always the case where you know when you pick up a team to play and you 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 don't know necessarily the the initial reasons why something's like got that speed stat for that specific reason. It always it does it does get like okay, well, I mean, if we get a crit. Um, if we get a crit Stone Edge here, we could put, and there's no Sash, mm, no crit, okay, no crit, not ideal. Um, 
but we just grassy clyde again i mean they're gonna tailwind right they're gonna tailwind but everything's so low health at the minute it's kind of all right like we just need to get rid of the togekiss and the rest of them's so low health it'll go down to a grassy glide so they've got to install out these the the grassy terrain turns but by doing that they kind of lose their their tailwind and their sun there's the tailwind we get another just free like this is where you really want the Stone Edge crit to kind of come in. Like if we want to get a Stone Edge crit ever, ever in this game, this is where you want to get it. I'm wondering whether or not as well, like it would have been better to lock into like Sludge Bomb here. Because Sludge Bomb probably would have picked up something like um, the Reshiram would have picked up, it would have dealt with the togekiss just as well and then ah uh, we end in like that that's very sad that's very sad that my opponent's done that but okay well we'll take it we'll take it and we'll jump across now and get that rental code for you all my friends right friends here is the rental for today's team a little bit sad about that last one but i mean that is three for three we did us we put ourselves in as best position we could in that last one it would be nice to see it played out and if my opponent did have connection issues then that is a shame but i uh, hope you've enjoyed today's episodes and if you do try the team out i do suggest giving it a try i think it's a really nice build it's a little bit different from your normal kind of constructs of teams and i think it does a really nice job in the current format as well so restroom is always a lot of fun to play it's a beast of a pokemon and um it's got a really good support and cast if you do try it out as always let me know down in the comment section below i hope you've enjoyed today's episode uh, hit me up with teams that you'd like to see going forward it's always something i would love to hear from you uh, all and um we'll wrap it up there and i'll see you for another episode very soon like i say i got lots planned for this week so hopefully you enjoy all the teams that we'll be featuring um but until next time friends take care of yourselves and bye bye